It's a little cool this morning. Hiking kind of into a little bit of a valley. Going downhill. I hear some cowbells. I've been hearing a lot of cowbells lately. I'm going to try and find the cows. I found the cows. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, there's no way you can see those cows. They're three cows. I'm not lying. They're munching on some grass. I'm not going to run through this meadow to get them. Sidebar and cows, this would be an amazing place to be if you were a cow. They really have it good up here. Taking a little snack break. I guess these are the Marble Mountains. This place has amazing flowers. Look at these things. I wonder what those are. Are those dandelions? Interesting. But there are all these different varieties I've been walking through. I've got red ones. That might be Indian paintbrush. I don't know what that stuff is. And then these tall things. Whatever those are. Just so many flowers. Leaving one valley. Now it's time to go into another. Maybe you can hear these bugs. They're like little butterflies and they just, their, their wings just go back and forth so much. They're like little snaps. Wild. Unfortunately, not going by the lake. We're going down in there. Maybe another lake. I ate some lunch in the shade in these trees, and I'm right near this tent site. And I'm a little off trail. I climbed up a ridge. But if, it's too early to camp here. But if I were to camp here, these are the views you'd get. You have all this to yourself. Also, I may have been premature on saying some mountains were marble mountains. I know I'm in the marble mountain wilderness, but that's, I guess we'll probably go close to that, but that's definitely what the marble mountain wilderness is named for. That looks like marble. Maybe it's not marble. I really have no idea what I'm talking about, but it it looks different. Just came down a little burn zone. It's kind of all like this. I mean, I'm heading out of it. I think that might have been from a fire two years ago. I've been hiking through more burn. Until hiking this trail, I've never seen anything like this. I mean, when the burn comes through, sometimes you get a tree like this where it was burning and then it clearly fell over. You know, that might even be it. I think there have been trail crews out here. Some of them fall, but they, you know, they don't kind of just go up in flames and vanish. And most of them are like this. So you can see, maybe this angle's better. It's just really charred. Looks like charcoal. But the thing is, Thing still standing. The flames just go up it. I mean, all these trees, they're all burned, charred. The flames go up, but they're still standing. And I think they're just dead. All this is dead. More flowers. I wonder if this is getting boring. It's not getting boring for me. Man. It would be cool to have a yard like this. Unreal. Haven't seen anything like this on trail yet. I don't know if we're going up to it, but uh, it's wild. It's kind of like 
a mix of everything we've had here in the northern part of California, some of Yosemite. It's just, it's all rock, just kind of flowing down the hill like that. What's up, dude? This is a backcountry ranger cabin. I don't think anyone is here. People said it's locked up. See some rope over there, though. There have been horse or mule tracks on the trail. So it could certainly be from that. Someone just locking up, taking a break. Got another deer friend over here, too. Tons of them. No water here, so no real point of hanging out. Got to go up there, maybe a mile or so to a spring. Found some water. That little thing popping out. That makes it so easy to fill up water bottles. It's probably too hard to see. Pretty zoomed in. But we got a bear up there. Doing his damn thing. I'm pretty far away. He's up there just hanging out. On my way. Later in the day, after five, and early in the morning, whenever I get up until maybe nine o'clock or so, it's the best time to hike. It's cool. The, you know, since the sun isn't overhead, everything has this great color. I, I really enjoy it, but it's it's definitely an eerie time to hike. It's when the bigger animals come out. The bears start munching on berries. I haven't seen a cat yet. Cats do what they do. So, it's not a bad thing. It's just it's just on your mind. Forget about it, but then when you see a bear up in a hill, you remember, oh yeah, it's late in the day. That makes sense. We made it to another valley. That's been the story of the day. Ridge walking, go into a valley, dip down, pop out. I don't know what this one is. And I don't know where we're going. Maybe we we could either keep on going that way. Or we might dip down and then follow this. And kind of cruise over that. Up and over. Not sure. I'm a little out of breath. I was uh Maybe we can see it in the background. I was down there thinking about camping. And then I saw this place and it's just got these panoramic views. Ground's a little ground's a little rocky, but I'm sure I can make something work. This is too perfect. To not camp here. Found a flat spot. Not too many rocks. Not going to disturb too much either here. And then I've got this view. Oh. Just red. This might be one of the most beautiful camp spots I've I've had in my three months out here. The trade-off. Or a spot like this is it's beautiful you know I'm gonna I'm gonna have this now and behind me I'll have the sun in the morning but it gets really windy if I put my tent up I'm gonna deal with my tent flapping all night and if I cowboy camp you know stuff could be flying around I don't know what I'm gonna do yet but it's worth it I'm really excited about tonight's meal some rehydrated rice, some hard salami, some hot sauce. The rice, it says it takes 25 minutes to cook, you know, cooking rice normally. I think I gave this maybe two, two and a half hours. Probably needs three to four. Anyway, I'm gonna put the salami and the hot sauce in the rice. I'm gonna eat it 
sit back and just look at that.